Hi YouTube! So, um, as always, because my lighting sucks, I apologize for the lighting. So, um, it's nighttime, and it's raining. It's Washington. Surprise rain. Um, so I'm just going to do a resin update. Um, I was going to wait until I have more fully completed pieces, but I don't want to now. So, yeah. And real quick, I got these little nail stickers at, um, what is it called? The Dollar Tree. And then I just added some little gemstones, so if you're wondering about my nails, that's what I did. They're not professionally done, as you can see, like the polish. I just did them today, and I'm evidently not very good at uh, doing the little strip things, but you know what, for a dollar, not too shabby, I guess. Alright, so, let's get started on this resin update. Basil, hey. He's getting into trouble already, guys. I swear. Alright, so I did this one, and I'm a little disappointed in it because, as you can see, the resin dripped on these sides. But what I think I'm going to do is just drip resin into the rest of it right here. And um, hopefully that makes it look not so bad. I don't know. We'll see. Hey, Basil. Sorry, guys. My dog's a troublemaker, I swear. Alright, and then I did a bunch of like glow-in-the-dark pieces, so I've got this little owl, so this is from the mold that I got from Kendra, and um, it's all extra resin, so it's got like the bubbles and stuff because, you know, I don't know about you guys, but when I pour extra resin, I kind of just forget about it. I know, it's awful. I'm awful. And then I started to do, um, Basil! Lay down, baby. Lay down. Sorry, guys. So I started to do a trinket box that was in a mold that I made myself. And, um, <laughs> it's supposed to say eek, but as you can see, it doesn't say that. It says key. And I'm bummed because it would have been so cute. It had a couple of different oranges, some glow-in-the-dark glitter, and some black glitter. And the little uh, spiderweb confetti thing. So I just popped it out like that. And I don't know. I don't want to throw it away because it's still pretty. But that's fine. Whatever. I'll throw it away eventually. Then I'm doing a couple of double-sided pieces. So this one and a bunch of other pieces, I mixed together a... Um, let's see. This one is a kind of a goldish. And then a black. And then a little bit of purple glitter. So the gold and the black are eyeshadows, basically. Um, they are... I'll just show it to you. I got them from a dollar store, so it's the LA Colors. Sorry about the glare. So I just mixed a little bit of that in there, and then put some of my purple glitter, which I think it was the grape color from Recollections. I, if I remember correctly, it was grape. So I've got this one, so it's got the bat on this side, and then I haven't domed this side yet, but it's got the bat on the other side, and you can really see the purple on this side. This side you can get, you get like the hint of purple and a lot of the gold. So got that one. And then I have this one that I did before, but I just backed it in the, um, the gold, the black, and a little bit of purple. So... And then I did, whew, I did this one, and it's very matte right now, but it's the same colors. And uh, when I dome it, or glaze it, or whatever, these two are going to be really, really cute. So, I really like the glitter. I don't know why, but I always get bubbles in this mold. Which makes me have a sad face, but, oh well. So there's those. And then... I just domed this piece that I did like forever ago, but since it was coming up on Halloween, I was looking at my stuff and thinking, well, that's actually cute for Halloween. I don't know if you can actually see, but this is like a dark red. The little ties are dark red, and then the heart's black. Like mine. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. Or am I? I don't know. Some may say that I have a black heart, but that's all right. So then I've got this double-sided piece. <laughs> It's got the cat on one side and the bat on the other side, and it's the same mix. 
And then I've got this piece, which is just the black with a little bit of um, the gold. Oh, and then one little red speck of glitter. I don't know if you guys can see that. Bummer. All right, it's just got a candy corn. And then I domed this piece, and then I add, added pearls and some really, really pink rhinestones that I got from Miniature Sweets. I really love that shop. So it's got an ice cream cone, it's got a lollipop, it's got, I think this is a cake slice, and then a piece of candy. I think I'm going to make a magnet. I'm not sure yet. Still thinking about that one. This one has overpour that needs to be fixed already, or still, but it's got a lollipop and... I'm not sure what that's supposed to be, to be honest. Uh, it's a piece of candy of some sort, I'm guessing. And then a candy cane and a little wrapped candy, and it's got the little iridescent crystals. Same as are on my nails, but these are um, the three millimeters, whereas the one on my nails are two millimeters. A lot smaller. And then this one actually glows in the dark. And uh, let's see here. See if I can get it to glow on the camera for you. Give me one second. Ah, oh, and you can't see it on the camera, of course. That's all right. So it, it does glow though. Um, I assure you, it glows. So this one's a glow in the dark, and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it. I'm gonna try to figure out how to make it kind of Halloween themed. Yeah. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. Um. And then the same color, I've got this one, and then what I'm going to do with this, I'm not sure what type of skull. I have two types of the little skulls, so I don't know which one I like better in it. This one or this one. Probably this this style. So, ah, and I threw it. No, there we go. Alright, and then I did a bunch of the little skulls, so let me see if I can get all of them all at once. Probably not. I've got a bunch of resin pieces, guys, so I'm sorry if this is a, a long video, but... Alright, so I got all the little skulls. So we've got this one, this one, this one. This one, and this is all with my extra resin. I had just the two skull molds out so that I could just pour real quick if I had any extra resin. They're small enough to where you get, you know, a nice piece out of very minimal resin. So, and I think I'm going to put them into frames. Alright, and then I have this glow in the dark bat wing that I put little orange polka dots on. Pretty simple. And then I did this jack piece and this jack piece and I need to glaze them because it's just the paint um, and I'm not sure what type of glaze I want to use. I didn't like triple thick and I don't like glazing with resin when it has the cavities because I don't want to fill the cavities up so uh, I don't know what type of glaze I want to use. Um, if anybody has any recommendations let me know. That would be awesome. And then I've got, alright, so I've got four of these ones, and they've got the little cracked screen, uh, screen, cracked cranium, ha, huh. let's speak properly, and I need to glaze these somehow, but it's got the same, um, gold, black, and purple mix in there, and I've got four of those, that one, and that one, I mean, they're really, I'm going to show them real quick, because they're all the same. And then I just domed these ones, and I just need to do some filing, and then I'm going to make these earrings. And these were done with some, um, I think it's the Janelle, I think it's the Janelle um, glitter by Recollections, and then I also used a Martha Stewart, um, I don't know the color of it, but it's the one of the bread ones that comes in the um, cellophane collection that she has, the little, the you know, the box that comes with like nine different glitters or something like that. All right, 
right, and then I have this one, and then all I have to do is get some, pur I'm going to get some purple paint and do stripes in the frosting part, because I've got the black spots in the cupcake base part. So yeah, blue stripes, Let's see about that. And then I've got a bunch of just random extra resin pieces. I'm going to go through them really fast, because seriously, I mean, it's just extra resin, it's no big deal. Extra visit. Boom. Sorry, I keep hitting my camera. Your heart. Bow. Oh, I have to like bend at an awkward angle to do this. I have to find a better place to do my filming. So I've got a spider on this side and a candy corn on that side. It's a really small little piece. I've done a lot of pieces with. Um, the mold that has the love on the bottom because it's got some really cute just little flower looking things and some you know it's, I've got extra resin so I've got that one that's actually pearly and it's got a random piece of glitter there so I don't know what I'm gonna do with that and you got something like this and then this and the great thing about this mold is it comes out shiny so you can make double-sided pieces super easy. You just pour the one layer, let it dry, or I mean you could put a sticker in and then do the layer. I like to just do this and then put the sticker on top and then dome that. That's how I do that. Or I put the sticker on the part where it's got the um, the lip. Up to you guys. I mean, you could do double-sided or whatnot. And then I have this awesome piece that I molded myself. And it's very, very texturized, and uh, I don't know how to show it properly on the crappy camera that I have, but there's that. And then I've been making some Christmas ornaments. So I've got this one. This one. This one, which I made before, but um, I sand it. Well, and I, oh, I did not sand this one, huh? Just kidding. So it just needs to be drilled and sanded. And I made this one, which has been drilled and sanded. So I just need to add little um, a tie to it. And I made this one. I really like these little confettis. And then I made this one. I don't know if I like how the micro marbles turned out. Still deciding on that. That's alright though. And then I made this one, which is so sparkly. I mean, it's just ridiculous. I just have to dome the back and then drill a hole. And, oh, and then I've got um, the top to this is still being worked on. My mold, I think the piece that I molded was like. I mean, it was messed up, so the round one is just like that. So what I'm going to do is cover the base in another clear layer until that's covered, and then remold the base. Um, so what I did is I just splattered four different colors of glow-in-the-dark paint. So it's got green, pink, yellow, and orange, and I s just splattered it. I mean, I just, I just splattered it all over the place. And then I used... Um, some of the black cast and craft color pigment with a little bit of the black pearly eyeshadow. And that's what I have for the base. So it's going to look really cool. I'm really excited about it. And then the top of it is going to be the same, but um, first I put in a sticker, um, uh, what is it called? A Lisa Frank sticker, you know, the really colorful ones. So I think it's going to look really cool. I have to do the back black layer. Um, I've already done the paint and everything, so I just have to do the black layer. And then that one will be done, and it will be super sweet. So, yeah, really excited about it. It's going to be cool. I'm excited. Boom. Ah. Alright, and I think that's all I've got for right now. I believe. Yes? Alright. I'm looking around, so... Yeah, that's all I got right now. So, I will see you, or talk to you guys all later. I always say see you. Talk to everybody later. Bye.